everyone, welcome to my channel. We are doing AVS Educate Lab Practices and we gained the badge and we can add that to LinkedIn. Now we are going to do AVS Security, which is new training and we will have another batch as well. In this lab, we are going to be exploring pre-created IAM users and groups, inspecting IAM policies as applied in the pre-created groups, following the real-world scenario using users to groups with specific capabilities enabled, locating and using IAM sign-in URL, experimenting with the effects of policies on the service access. So let's get started. So we need to note that we are in North Virginia right now. Under the services, we will go to security identity or we can type IAM immediately. I'm going to select IAM. So there are three users created for us. Users. User 1, 2 and 3. They are not in the groups. And MFA is not active. Under the groups, add user to the groups. This one doesn't have any permissions. It's not under any groups. There is a cloud lab tag. Security credentials. MFA is not active. And there's no access key. So we'll go to user groups to see the active user groups. These are EC2 admin, EC2 support, and S3 support. These are active groups that they were created for the lab purposes. Click on EC2 support, choose permissions. There is Amazon EC2 read only access. If we, if we want to see the JSON permission, this is how it's showing. Allow is it to describe allow and effect will say allow or deny. Action will show the epic keys and resource will show which resource is allowed. So in this case, it shows all resources. So let's go check S3 support and permissions. This is S3 read only access. <coughs> this is allowing action to get action, list action, and objects to get lambda to get objects from S3 bucket, and object lambda to list from S3 bucket. And resource is allowed for all of them. We can go back, cancel this one, and go back. Now we have a business scenario. So here is the business scenario. Your company is growing its use of AVS services and it's using Amazon EC2 instances and Amazon S3 buckets. You want to give access to new stuff depending upon the your job function, as indicated in the following table. User 1 will be in the group of S3 support and will have read-only access to Amazon S3. User 2 will be in the group of EC2 support and will have read-only access to Amazon EC2. User 3 will be in the EC2 admin group and will have view, start and stop Amazon EC2 instance permission. So let's do that. You have recently hired a user 1 into a role where they will provide support to Amazon S3. You will add them to the S3 support group so that they inherit the necessary permissions via the attached Amazon S3 read on access policy. So now we need to, we are in the groups. We need to go to S3 support group and add user. We need to add user one, add users. Now that we can see the user is under this group and it has permission S3 read only access. User added to this group, you re, we see the green check and that's ready. In the second use case, we have a new hired user 2 into the role where they will provide support for Amazon EC2. You will add them to EC2 support group so they can inherit the necessary permissions via the attached Amazon EC2 read-only access policy. So let's do that now. So we are under user groups. We'll go back. And now we have EC2 support. Add user group, we will add the second user, add users, and this is added. 
Let's check the other use case. The you have need, you have hired user three as your EC2 administrator to manage your EC2 instances. You will let them to the EC2 admin group so they inherit the necessary permissions via, via the attached EC2 admin policy. So let's do that now. Again, go back to user groups and we need to add to admin, add users, we need to add third user, add users, and this is now added. We now want to test if our access is working. So I'm in the dashboard and I am access manager. This is the URL. I'm going to type it in here, another console. And use the username provided, user1, and the password will go to S3. Here I see S3 already. Under S3, we can see the bucket. There are no objects in it, but we can access the bucket. Okay, now we are going to check if we have EC2 access. I'm going to go to instances. You are not authorized to perform this operation. So we can't see anything in the under the instances. Now we can sign out and test second user. Let me see. Going back into IAM dashboard. This is my URL. Let me see if my user groups are active. Have all all have users because I haven't finished the lab. I haven't ended it, it should be all active. We'll copy that at the same time. User user two. That's okay. Sign back in. Okay, let's go to S S3. See if it's active for user two. So I can't see anything. Let's check S EC2 instances. All the running instances. Um, okay, so I see only one. Let me go down. No, it's only one. I can see the instance now. It is showing now. I'm going to test the third user on um, that password. Need to go back. Let me see. It might have in the same dashboard. I'll take the URL. Click the URL and go back to the tree. Lab password, sign in. Now we are going to check S3. We can't see any buckets and EC2. EC2 is running and I should have admin access. It should mean I can change the instance state. Let's stop the instance. It stopped. It is stopping. And now I'm going to end the lab and go to the final exam. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to click on thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.